gonna beat my dive. So you're basically saying intergalactic dream team on a mission. Yeah. So there's an epic villain, right? Right. Okay. So you have to fill a starship full of the best people or aliens or robots to take them down. How many seats have I got? Five. Five? Six if you need, like, a duo, but you can't have, like, Predator and the Xenomorph together because they'd fight and the mission would be futile. No, no, okay, I get it. All right, one, Kirk. Two, Picard. Three, Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum from Independence Day. Five, Ripley. And six, are you ready for this shit? A Xenomorph egg. No way. Yeah. Yes, yes, okay, here's the plan. Kirk and Picard team up to Captain. Then when they get close, they send in Will and Goldblum to get inside the lair because they have experience with that shit. Fair. Now, this whole time, Ripley's been bitching about the Xenomorph egg and shit because that's her move. But she knows she gotta do this because it's the only way to save the world. The universe. Right, exactly. So, Will and Goldblum get her inside the lair. Ripley personally drops off the egg. The face hugger attacks the big bad. Ripley makes it back to Will and Goldblum. The big bad attacks them. They narrowly escape. Kirk and Picard supply cover as the spacecraft returns home. Then they peace out of there. Meanwhile, Big Bad starts feeling like shit. And... <laughs> He's out! <laughs> Who said he was a he? Shut up. We're to save the galaxy. Our face are girls female? No, because they got dicks, right? Oh, so you're saying it took a dick to save the galaxy. I want a do-over. Uh, yeah. I want a do-over. do-overs. Come on, aliens don't abide by our primitive gender stereotypes. It's done is done. You suck. You suck, and I hope you die. <gasps> you couldn't live without me. It would definitely affect my income, so you're probably right. Pizza! Pizza! You want to know see. something? There's, There's not, not a, a damn, damn thing you're gonna, gonna be able to do about it. Really? Really? You're an idiot, son of a bitch. <laughs> Think my parents are gonna get a divorce? I don't know, man. I hope not. Melanie's parents got divorced, Now her mom lives with her boyfriend. That's gross. Isn't that the cute chick across the street? Miss Dreyer is not cute. She's gross. Her boyfriend's like 20. Not her, Melanie. I wouldn't say she's cute. Oh, I would. I would say she's super duper cute. And, you know, I, I see what you're trying to do, and it's not going to work. Whatever. You want your tongues to touch. <laughs> nope, no way. Uh, you're in denial. You're in Asshole. <laughs> oh my god, that was so great. <laughs> but you know what? You'll be all right if your parents break up. I mean, you just gotta take care of yourself. You gotta figure out what you want and then do what you can to get it. <laughs> ah, shit, dude, it's super late. I'm not tired. Well, I know you're not. I am. If I give you a shot, will you go to bed? I don't know, maybe. I'll make it a double. You'll sleep like a rock. Okay. I tried so hard and got so far.